the concept of remote was to go back to almost where our industry started. It started in garages and workshops and people tinkering and being in that bubble or that environment away from the day-to-day -day running of the business is a great place to be when tackling design challenges. Around 30 to 40% of the materials that we use in producing a surfboard do end up in landfill. Whether it be a fabric or a, a stringer or a fin or a tail pad, you know, why can't we regenerate the waste materials into new materials that we can build a board out of? One of the ideas was to utilise the offcuts of carbon fibre and glass fibre that we use in the lamination process and regenerate that into a new fabric. Right now we're testing the concept of aerating and fluffing up the carbon and glass fibres. We'll be able to reintroduce that into the fabric weaving machines, utilising the waste and then being able to still reuse that waste to recreate that cloth over and over again. Right now we're sort of still at the prototype stage and there's always going to be a risk that you, you can't achieve the end result, but that's always the fun of creating. The first surf of any design concept is always interesting. How is the board going to feel on the first wave is my initial reaction and take on it. The upcycled fabric board actually felt really, really nice under my feet. It was quite natural, didn't have any delay in flex or too stiff under my feet. It had a natural feeling, which is always great. I'm pretty excited about this one. This one I feel like has legs. What I would like to achieve through any of the sustainable designs that I come up with is that they get shared and they get used by the wider industry.